I'm sorry. Hi, Purple Jan. Tales from a Broken Brain here with part four of the Scarlet Shed build. And just before we get on to doing that, we're just, uh, Neil's just putting the roof together, but I have just noticed, and now I've lost it again. Hold on, let me see if I can find it and then I'll show you. I've got rather a large tomato happening down here. It's rather a lovely specimen, isn't it? There might be more hidden in there for all I know. But that's lovely. Go on, can you go? Right, so I've just had a quick break for my go tea. On. Neil's carried on working because I think he might get himself a takeaway as a, a well done present when he's finished. But once the roof goes on, it's... um. just the doors to do really isn't it yeah just all the final screws and the doors so is this the inside of the roof or, or the outside outside so that will rain off then yeah good more of those <laughs> Okay. More self tapping screws and snippers? No, but they just needed a head start. And... All right, okay. I'm trusting you. Well, as long as the hole's smaller than the uh, than the screw. Than the screw. Yeah. How are you feeling? Tired. But then I did before I started. I know. Chester, get off the roof, please. I'm holding off on doing their tea because there's nowhere for Bear to run out to to do his poo afterwards, so. I thought it'd be better to leave it for a while. Yeah. Well, we all know it's going to be a wee wee and a poo, isn't it? Pardon? It's going to do a wee wee and a poo with dinner. Well, in one end, straight out the other with Bear, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There he goes. The minute I sit down, there he is at my feet. Some lovely footage of your bum. Excellent. I hope the viewers appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, because I think the um, metal gables have to go in before that goes on, don't they? I have no idea. I think so. I have not looked through the book. I'm just going through the stages. <laughs> I've had my battery screwdriver on charge all day, by the way, if you wanted it. No, that's okay. As I say, I'd like to actually feel the torque against the screw for when to stop yourself rather than... Okay. Torque, that's a te technical term, isn't it? Yes, I believe it means resistance. 
All right. But also, yeah, because you get a torque wrench that can be set to a certain amount of pounds. So oh, right. how tight they actually, Yeah. so how tight something's gone. Uh, but you also get the torque of the, like on an acceleration of a car has a torque of how much, how quickly yes. it, so. Yes, I am familiar with the word, but probably not the exact definition. Yeah. Um, a little tip for anybody who's got a corded drill is I don't know if you can see the, where the yellow is. I've actually taped the what's it called? The chuck, the chuck key. key. I taped the chuck key onto the the cord so that it would never get lost. But I suppose with battery drills, that's not a an issue anymore. But no, they have. Uh ones that you do up by hand that don't have an iron key on them. Really? Yeah. You just come on a lot in the years since I bought mine. It it doesn't have a key. Oh. Well, there you go then. (laughs) World's constantly changing and leaving me behind. Yeah, because it's forecast for rain later and I was just worried about it raining without the roof on going inside the wall bits because although yeah. it's um, kind of a plastic composite I still don't want walls filled with water. Does it look any, any more like a roof now? It's starting to, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's um, the plastic bracket that goes on that holds it at the right angle. Yeah. In the middle there. I think it just lays over the top. Oh, Chester, off. <laughs> off. Come on, it's, it's a roof. <laughs> Not a dog toy. <laughs> As you know, my YouTube channel is Purple Jan, and I like all things purple. And today, my husband's dressed in purple. Did you do that to please me? Did I do that to please you? No. Did you do I it because it was it the first you thing you grabbed hold of? Loads of purple T-shirts when we were in UKIP, and then said, "Here you go, have purple T-shirts." Yeah, not to wear all the time, just so that you had some decent ones if we were going anywhere. Well. I've tried colour coding Neil's t-shirts in the past for everyday wear, work wear and going out and I don't know it if just doesn't work at all. Coloured t-shirts to say what I'm doing and when it's like I'm oh, sorry. Well no it's just no. a case of if you need to go out then you can just grab hold of one that you know is halfway decent and won't have holes in. Because you are a bit of a scruff. Who me? Yes you. So it was no other reason than that, that you had your, your ones that you wear for work, that it doesn't matter if they get ruined. You've got your ones for every day that are slightly better than the work ones, and then you've got your ones for going out, which should be neat and clean and tidy, and they're not. Must be nearly done on those screwing, haven't you? No, I've got these two long sides to do. It's 
It's quite pleasant sat out here of an evening watching you work. What well, should we do sure tomorrow? It's giving me a headache, I tell you that. Is it? It's because yeah. you're bending forward all the time. Oh, yeah, I know. Tell me that. Mm. Once the roof goes up, you'll be leaning up. And then all the blood will drain back somewhere else. Mm. We'll take a break now. If you need to take a break, take well, a break. I want to get done so I can finish. Taking a break just means it lasts longer. There is some truth in that, but also sometimes taking a break means that you work more efficiently and faster when you come back to it. It means I stop for the day and don't do any more. Uh, well, yeah, that's you. Is that equidistant or are you at the stage where you just couldn't give a fuck? <laughs> I said, is that equidistant or could you just not care less anymore? <laughs> it's it just in case I've got six screws and they're going in. Yeah, I don't rough, even care where. It's roughly. And by eye, it should be good enough. Unless you want to get down here with a tape measure, mark them all out and do the holes. No, sometimes well, near enough is good idea, enough. My way is probably good enough then. Well, I just said near enough is good enough sometimes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a plastic shed when all's said and done. Yeah. As long as it holds together and is watertight, and, and I can use it to, to put things in. The screws, I can just bob off. <laughs> well, I think that's going to be the outside of the roof, isn't it? So they'll have to climb up on the wall to be able to or get a drone. Yeah. Oh, you're a drone. We've got a drone up and your screw is two millimetres out from the one the other side. I bet you slept well last night, didn't you? Yeah. Well, that's a bonus because Chester came up on my bed and slept for an hour or so. Did he? I know he yeah. Up. yeah. He never stays all night, but he likes to come up and just sleep with me for a little while. Yeah, that's nice. But when I came down this morning, he was sleeping on top of Reckling. Huh. You know, just the way he used to with Darcy when she yeah. was alive. Do you know it's four weeks today since we lost her? Is it four weeks? Yeah. I still miss her like crazy. Yeah.
It's not that I don't love the other three, because of course I do. Yeah. But if you had a favourite child, it was that one. <laughs> I was just laughing because I was thinking, I was telling somebody once if I had 10 children and I had to pick my five top favourites, somebody wouldn't make the top five. Oh, yeah, Sorry, babe, you think you've just got comfy and you're a bit smooth. No, you're, you ought to be quite pleased that you're in the top two of my best husbands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's just so flattering. Well, it's better than being five, isn't it? Well, it is, considering you've only had two. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> Me being one of them. <laughs> and it's like, I'm your best wife ever. Yes. Don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly in this lifetime. <laughs> right, that goes in there, that goes out of there. Oh, right, okay, well, that looks wrong. Can't be there. Is it there? That goes there, that goes there, that goes over there. Right, leaf sits on there. Oh, that's clever. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. And then you use the tool. Ah. And then that goes on after. Apparently that goes there. So what bit's happening next? The roof. Yes, I might be able to put the roof on next and then leave the rest of it for another day. Okay. Like the doors and stuff. Yeah, well, like I said, as long as the roof's on, that's uh, the next most important, well, it is the most important bit. Cause then it's, it's the uh, most important. Pardon? It's the most important, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, to stop the rain going in it. Are you sure? The most important. Oh. Well, what do you think is the most important I thing? I don't know. Right, is it what I don't know? If there's a clever thing. Right, are you going to need help with no, this? No, I'm going to do this one person. Are you? I'm just a superhero. If I had a superhero ability, it would be shed build. No, 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 I trust you. You've proved yourself very capable in the past. But I'm just saying, if you want to have a hand, then either I can help you, or, Tony, or we can call Tony. Done, a round of applause after it is done could be really good. All right. Okay. I'm confident that this will work. However, keep that <laughs> camera rolling. I will do. Because the roof's not that heavy, is it? We're about to see. So what I'm thinking mm -hmm. is just lift it up and flap it over. Well, as long as you don't break it while you're flapping it over. <laughs> OK. 
Hang on, let me turn the phone round and do a proper widescreen. I don't know why I keep picking it up the wrong way round. So the metal inside bracket doesn't go into your next, does it? No. Okay. Good job I'm taping it in case the insurance people need evidence of how you died. <laughs> <laughs> And then just flip it. That's the plan. Might it be better to bring the ladder round to the side so you've got some control of the flip? Avengers are symbol! <laughs> 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 My superhero ability of <laughs> shed roof in one hand. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to close a few gaps. Right, so what it actually has, it's quite clever, <laughs> is uh, once that's lined up. black groove yeah and the wall just slots in oh right do you need the spatula yes that is actually what the spatula is for it does actually show the use of said spatula but before i do that i just want to get the things lined up just a little bit I'd have done the inside of the roof white like the walls because then it would be that much lighter in here but yeah, it's, really uh, it's not bad That's the uh, so spatula time. Okay, so that needs to come back up a little bit. Put that in. It's a case of trying to. Well done on your roof, it, it, it anyway. Yes, oh, I looked at it and I thought, well, it could, and then it did. So, 
Are you oh. going to have to go around the outside with the spatula as well? Well, I'm just trying to these bits to not line up. I suppose that's the good thing about daylight is that you keep going until you can't see any daylight. Yeah, that, that, could, uh, that could be a working technique, couldn't it? Well, I think it should be, really. Uh, but it's just trying to work out what bits are like to line up. Because like that, Needs that rim. Okay. chair there. What chair? The chair that I was sitting in. Can I just have it up this end because yeah. I'm feeling a bit faint again. Thank you. Oh god. Yeah the um the foot of the chair was off the paving and uh that was like the whole thing was gonna go. I don't know that that biggest pepper's going to get any bigger though, do you? Do you think? Know, it's... Seems to have stopped growing at that point. Well, it has kind of. Well, it's still getting bigger. Still growing. And, you know, they start off at that size. Yeah. And that size. So it is just growing. I'm sure it will get bigger. Oh, well, we'll just leave it and see what happens. <laughs> what? I mean, they are green peppers, but are, are we waiting for it to go red or something? <laughs> what? No, that one's supposed to be a yellow one. Is it? Yeah. So, it, until it goes yellow? Well, I don't know if it goes green before it goes yellow. Well, no, but what I'm saying is if it's supposed to go yellow, then wait till it's yellow and see what size it is. Well, yeah, that's true. If it ever goes yellow, maybe it'll just go mouldy and fall off. Okay, so I thought the spatula was a heap of shit. But it it's isn't. actually it pretty does good. Its job pro quite well, actually. That's what it's, what it's designed to do. Yes. Which is a good thing. Yes. Yeah, cause see, I can see daylight through that gap in the corner there, so.
how's it going? Slowly. Yep. Lots of little bits just to try and line up, for it all just to settle down in the right place. Do we have quite a few long poles left over? Sorry? Seem to be quite a few long the metal long poles. Door frame. Pardon? Door frame. The actual door on the actual Oh, on the door itself. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, okay. Do you want to grab this again while I go and get my jumper? It's getting chilly again. Oh, no, just turn it off for a minute. I'm kind of busy to film. Okay. 